and gentlemen, distinguished guests, friends from the media, and those friends joining us online, good morning. Welcome to the opening ceremony of Taiwan Expo in Malaysia 2021 online. My name is Elsa and I will be your host today. Since 2017, Taiwan Expo has become the best platform to, for companies of Taiwan, ASEAN, and South Asian countries to explore business opportunities. As all of you know, coffee from Malaysia is world famous, and that's why we included the Taiwan Expo Cafe this year to create an easy and relaxed atmosphere and foster new business opportunities between Taiwan and Malaysia. 相信各位都知道马来西亚的白咖啡是相当有名，所以呢，我们也特别打造了台湾形象展二D咖啡馆。Today, we are very happy to have many guests joining us today. First of all, please allow me to introduce the representatives from organizers of Taiwan Expo. Please wave to the viewers when your name is called upon. Let's welcome Mr. James Huang, Chairman of Taiwan External Trade Development Council. Welcome. Ms. Cynthia Zhang, Director General of Bureau of Foreign Trade, Ministry of Economic Affairs. Welcome. Joining us today, we are honored to have Ms. Sharon He, President of Malaysian Friendship and Trade Center Taipei. Welcome. Ms. Leonor Ling, President and CEO of Taitra. Welcome. Mr. Simon Wang, Executive Vice President of Taitra. Welcome. Ms. Elena Lee, Executive Vice President of Taitra. And we are honored to have Ms. Sauda Matisa, Director of Trade of Malaysian Friendship and Trade Center Taipei. Besides, we also have a distinguished guest to join us online from Malaysia. Let's welcome Ms. Sherry Madon Matsale, Deputy CEO of Matrade. Thank you all for joining us today. And next, we would like to invite the organizers and distinguished guests to the stage to the Taiwan Expo Cafe, where we will discuss the economic development and post-pandemic trends within Taiwan and Malaysia. Let's welcome to the stage Chairman Huang, Director General Jiang, and President He. Welcome. It's your time, Chairman Huang. Hello, everyone. I'm James. And great to have you join us today for the opening of Taiwan Expo Malaysia 2021. Today, we have two very special guests. We have uh, Ms. Cynthia Jiang. Cynthia is the Director General of Bureau of Foreign Trade Ministry of Economic Affairs. Welcome, Cynthia. Thank you. Welcome. And also, we have uh, Ms. Sharon Ho. Uh, Sharon is the president of Malaysia Friendship and Trade Center, Taipei. Welcome, Sharon. Welcome. Um, so, uh, since uh, both uh, Cynthia and, and uh, Sharon are here, uh, let me start with uh, Cynthia. Cynthia, have you tried a Malaysian uh, coffee before? Of course, of <laughs> course. It uh, tastes great. <laughs> tastes great. And other than the uh, kopi, uh, the white coffee in Malaysia is also world famous. Well, actually, I'm a fan of uh, white coffee as well. Mm -hmm. And this is uh, what I have every time I'm in Malaysia. But I think uh, Sharon will know more about Malaysian coffee, right, Sharon? Uh, yes, James. I'm very glad that this white coffee has actually reached out to the Taiwan market here. And it's special in a sense because it's, a, it's not a white coffee bean. It's actually a coffee bean blended uh, with margarine and served with a white sweetener condensed milk. So I'm so glad that you and uh, Cynthia actually enjoy the coffee very, very much. And I heard that you also prepare some food to serve with the coffee. Yeah? Thank you, James. And well, let's hope for the uh, situations to get better in Malaysia. And by then, I can invite both of you to visit Malaysia and uh, just enjoy the authentic taste of our white coffee. Thank well, you. I you. would like that very much and also Cheers to Team Malaysia at the Tokyo Olympics. 
Um, I want to, just want to say go Malaysia in Taiwan, and as a big fan of uh, badminton, congratulations to Malaysian men's uh, double team. And just like uh, the Olympics, Taiwan export in Malaysia is a celebration of the global community. The sporting community has always been a major part of Taiwan Expo, together with many others that we celebrate every year here at the Expo. Isn't that right, Cynthia? Yes. Um, well, uh, I would like to uh, take this opportunity uh, to uh, say a few words. Well, uh, we all know that uh, Taiwan has always maintained a very good trade relationship with uh, Malaysia. And uh, Malaysia is now Taiwan's seventh largest trading partner and since uh, the year 2017. And if I'm not wrong, then 2017 was also the first year that we had this uh, Taiwan Expo in Malaysia. I think the uh, trade performance uh, between our two uh, countries is not a coincidence. It's the uh, eagerness and also the efforts that uh, both sides have uh, tried very hard to reach uh, to maintain close uh, relationship. Uh, the, this pandemic has really uh, changed our lives. Well, but I think this is now is the right time, the best time for us to go digital, for us to promote e-commerce because lockdowns Right now are the new normal, stores are closed, many stores do not operate, and people are afraid of using money because they think that this uh, virus might spread, uh, spread over uh, cash handling. So um, uh, I've also noticed that e-commerce is now booming in Malaysia. This is the same situation in Taiwan. So uh, to, uh, to uh, uh, to reach the demand, uh, to match the demand of digitalization. Actually, since last year, my office, we have reached a consensus. We've discussed with our counterpart in Malaysia that uh, we want uh, to uh, work together for talent training uh, in digitalization. That is why in March this year, we launched a seven-week uh, training program for digital talent, and more than 20,000 business people attended the courses. I think this is a, a great success. So what we are planning to do is that we will continue such program, and uh, I'm very positive that uh, someday, in the near future, cross-border digital trade between Taiwan and uh, Malaysia will flourish. And also, uh, one other thing I would like to uh, stress is that now is the right time for both Taiwan and Malaysia to uh, establish uh, uh, supply chain ties, especially resilient supply chain ties. Because Taiwan is strong in, uh, in uh, smart manufacturing and also in ICT, uh, ICT industry. So, if uh, both sides, we can cooperate together, then uh, this will speed up the process of uh, Malaysia's Industry 4.0. So having said that, uh, I think that Malaysia is a promising gateway for Taiwan's new southbound policy. And uh, of course, the Taiwan Expo is the best platform for the businesses of Malaysia to know more about the good products and services that we can provide. Uh, as I understand that this year's theme include e-mobility, it also include uh, uh, industry 4.0 or even cultural tourism. So there's a lot to share with our Malaysian friend. And I'm very positive that uh, this year's expo will be a great success. That's wonderful. Thank you, Cynthia. Thank you for your warm and heartfelt remarks. Thank you. And also thank you, uh, Sharon. Uh, you represent uh, us in Malaysia, and I'm sure the uh, uh, Taiwan export uh, is uh, a special day in your uh, every year calendar. 
Yeah, thanks, James. Yes, indeed, very true. This expo uh, is very important uh, to us. Once again, I would like to thank uh, BOFT and uh, TITRA for jointly organizing the second edition of uh, online and also the fifth edition of Taiwan Expo Malaysia. You know, as Cynthia pointed out, as we strive to rise above the challenges of this COVID-19, keeping up with the technology has allowed us to stay connected and engaged. In fact, during this period of pandemic, we have had many uh, discussion and exchanges on how we could turn crises into opportunities. At the same time, we also devote much attention on how we could leverage on this digital uh, technology uh, to ensure our business continuity. Therefore, this Taiwan Expo 2021 is definitely uh, re very relevant and excellent digital platform for Taiwan exhibitors and businesses to showcase their products and uh, services under key industry teams. Based on the key industry teams, we can see that digital technology, in fact, has impacted innovation across all economic sectors. Huh? Industry teams showcased under the Taiwan Expo 2021, such as the e-mobility, as Cynthia pointed out, truly reflects Taiwan innovation advantage and also Taiwan core competencies in the ICT supply ch chain, as Cynthia pointed out just now. As far as trade is concerned, yes, Malaysia and Taiwan have enjoyed a very positive and encouraging trade and economic cooperation over the years. In 2020, Taiwan is Malaysia's fifth largest trade partner and Malaysia is Taiwan's seventh largest trade partner. And I believe that Malaysia as a country with abundance of natural resources can fully benefit from Taiwan high tech as well as innovation, research and development capacity. In fact, this is a win-win collaboration which allows our two sides to maximize the opportunities arise from this new normal and also to benefit from greater market access. As we, Malaysia, aspires to become a digital economy hub, we look forward to having more ICT collaborations with Taiwan and also welcome more investments in the field of high-value-add uh, technology. Well, based on our common goals of fostering uh, stronger malicious Taiwan uh, cooperation, I strongly believe that our Taiwan Expo 2021 today, as equally important as our Madrid E-National Export Day, provides opportunities for business growth. And I believe that through this uh, Taiwan Expo 2021, our businesses and companies, in particular our SME, can benefit three key um, important things from this Expo. Firstly, they can promote their businesses as preferred sourcing partners by enhancing their brand image and reputation. Second, they can also tap into the current market trend and opportunities via export promotional programs, especially in the key areas mentioned by Cynthia just now, ICT, uh, medical and healthcare, e-commerce, agriculture, even circular economy and halal sectors. And thirdly, what more important for us during this time, we must recognize the value of sustainability, make our SME recognize that, so that they can implement more timely and quick, agile and targeted business strategies that can better support and strengthen their products, uh, exports, service. And, and for the mutual benefits of our two sites, um, I believe that our expo today can pave way for our local companies and also businesses to better seize market opportunities in the upcoming platforms that we, are we will be jointly organized. Among is hybrid webinar on Halal and Mihas 2021, online sales campaign such as Taiwan Select, Malaysia Select, and also business to business sourcing program. By having all say all this, I wish all our exhibitors, buyers and participants a productive expo. I also want to take this opportunity to wish all the best of health stay safe and stay healthy during this period of time. Thank you very much. Thank you, Sharon, for your very encouraging remarks. Yeah. Oh, um, we, I think we have a call from our friend, Deputy CEO of Martrade, Ms. Sherry Moto Masalat. Hello. Mr. James C. F. Huang, Chairman, Taiwan External Trade Development Council, or TITRA. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. Salam sejahtera and tajia chao sang hao. 
On behalf of Madrid, I would like to congratulate Taitra for this concerted effort in organizing the fifth edition of Taiwan Expo in Malaysia, the second time in its digital format, taking place from the 4th to 6th of August 2021. Taiwan, being the 20th largest economy in the world, no doubt has high-tech industry in, and plays a key role in the global economy. Hence, Taiwan advances uh, very fast and this has supported the government in coping with the pandemic more efficiently, driving others to follow suit. As such, I strongly believe this online expo will contribute to creating new business opportunities, complementing the growth of our bilateral trade. This year, focusing on six industry highlights, namely Industry 4.0, post-pandemic era, e-mobility, lifestyle, halal, tourism and culture, combined with its interactive brand new 3D virtual exhibition, Taiwan Expo in 2021 online will indeed bring new vibes and attract new visitors um, and business communities to visit the Expo. With its developed IT ecosystem and talent pool in place, I trust visitors will enjoy the Expo with experience that is equivalent to the quality of a physical show. It is certain that Taiwan, known as one of the most highly competitive economies, will deliver its best. With cutting-edge technology and growing interest in Industry 4.0, post-pandemic era and e-mobility, I imagine that there are abundance of opportunities that Malaysia and Taiwan could collaborate and learn from. I trust that new business partnership will be established through the one-on-one -on -one trade meeting organized by Taitra. Additionally, Halal Taiwan is one of the six industry highlights in the Taiwan Expo this year, and this demonstrates Taiwan's interest in contributing to the halal industry ecosystem. With greater awareness of halal-related matters and conversation in Taiwan, Malaysia's halal businesses in FMB, pharmaceutical, cosmetics, healthcare, and other related products and services can spark the interest of Taiwanese companies. I do believe that Malaysia is Taiwan's best partner to grow this industry globally. Besides strategically located in the ASEAN region, Malaysia is one of the largest and fastest growing economic region in the world. As such, Malaysia is considered by many as an important hub in the ASEAN market. I strongly encourage Taiwanese companies to partner with Malaysian companies for access into the huge ASEAN market. Madrid will be organizing the 17th edition of Malaysia International Halal Showcase, or MIHAS, from 9 September to the 31st of December 2021. Although we are not able to uh, undertake MIHAS last year, we are optimistic that this year we will will be able to organize MIHAS vigorously with the support of Taiwan and other countries around the world. MIHAS will evolve into a modern, innovative, interesting uh, and interactive international gathering in the digital format. Ladies and gentlemen, with the extension of our MOU Memorandum of Understanding between Madrid and Taitra for another two years, we believe that the cooperation and collaboration can be intensified and established between Malaysia and Taiwan, especially in the field of halal, FMB, ICT and e-commerce. Madrid has been engaging very closely with Taitra and we are happy to render our continuous support for Taitra's event, regardless of whether the event is held in Malaysia or Taiwan. Taiwan, being Malaysia's fifth largest trading partner in 2020, is a significant market for us. In this year's event, Madrid is committed to strengthen our trade relations and boost trade activities between Malaysia and Taiwan as part of our regional economic recovery plan. Last but not least, I wish everyone the very best at the Taiwan Expo Online 2021. Stay safe and take care. Thank you. Thank you, Ms. Sherman Tong. 
Uh, ladies and gentlemen, Taiwan and Malaysia share a very special and friendly relations. We are connected to each other in many ways. For example, Malaysia and Taiwan are both regional hubs <coughs> and manufacturing centers in the semicon industry. Due to the pandemic, we are both partaking in the restructuring process of our supply chains to make them more resilient to future challenges. And this will give Malaysia and Taiwan even more opportunities to work and create Hello, prosperity Hello, friends together. in Malaysia. And that's the mission of Taiwan Expo. As always, our highlights this year are forward-looking, focus on the way we will live in the immediate future. For instance, e-mobility, the future of how we move, electric vehicles and self-driving cars will become a crucial part of our everyday life and Taiwan will help drive this future. Taitra will also be holding the 2035 e-mobility Taiwan show this October. Please come see the latest technology solutions, connect with global industry experts, use our platform to do business, and win the global ecosystem. The pandemic also pushed our factories to upgrade to Industry 4.0, our hospitals to upgrade to a smart health and medical services, and our schools to upgrade to online teaching and learning. For all this and more, you can find here at Taiwan Expo we have 160 exhibitors showcasing thousands of excellent products that you can connect with 24-7. Our 3D virtual exhibitions are designed to not only create the feeling of a real show-going experience, but also give you more ways to connect with the exhibitors. So please, Follow me to see what's new this year. Are you ready? Let's begin. Thank you, Chairman Huang, Director General Chia, and President He for such an informative talk. Please return to your seats. As we know, this is the fifth edition of Taiwan Expo in Malaysia and the second edition of online version. You might wonder what's new this year. Well, this year, Taiwan Expo in Malaysia 2021 online features a brand new 3D virtual exhibition and more functions for buyers to give you a feeling of a real life exhibition and allowing easy interaction with the exhibitors. Now, let's just follow the video to explore more. Hello, friends in Malaysia and Taiwan. I am James, and welcome to this year's Taiwan Expo in Malaysia. Before we get started, let's have a cup at the Taiwan Expo Cafe. Hello, James. Hi. Hi. Are you our new intern this year? That's right. How may I help you? How about a cup of coffee? It's my favorite when I visit Malaysia. You know, Malaysia and Taiwan have so many things in common. Our love for coffee is just one of them. Our close friendship and partnership can be seen in nearly all parts of our daily lives. Food, culture, language, and of course, trade and commerce. Our industries have also formed close ties. One of the hardest areas has been semiconductors. The rise of new global supply chains will give us brand new opportunities to grow and prosper together. So, welcome to Taiwan Expo in Malaysia 2021. Let's take a look around. Here, we have our 3D exhibition. Wow, it looks amazing. Quick quiz. Do you know our highlights this year? Of course, this year we have e-mobility, post-pandemic lifestyle, industry 4.0, Taiwan products, Taiwan tourism, culture and hala. Very good. These are the hottest areas for Taiwan and Malaysia to partner on. Wow, and we've added a new function. Instant interactions. 
We can now connect instantly on Taiwan Expo Online. Great! Look, we have a new message. It's from the Deputy CEO of Marche, Ms. Sherry Madong Masale. Hello, Ms. Sherry Madong. Apa kaba? Oh, apa bye, Mr. James. And hello, everyone. Ms. Sherry Madong, good to have you join us. And please enjoy the show. James, let's check out the functions together. In the online expo, you could interact with these exhibitors easily, and you could see this user-friendly interface and favorite list. Buyers can add what they're interested in to the list and contact them later. Look how easy it is! Also, with this business card exchange function, Taiwan Expo Online really gives you the feeling of a face-to-face -face exhibition. It's really easy to interact with the exhibitors. Besides, we will arrange one-on-one -on -one online business meetings to build up the mutual communications and fulfill demands from both Taiwan and Malaysia. This year, Taiwan Expo in Malaysia Online have 160 exhibitors and over 1,000 business meetings. James, I cannot wait to make some new friends at this year's show. Me too. Taiwan Expo is a place to meet, connect, and discover new opportunities. Join us. We look forward to seeing you at the show. Jumpa lagi! Wow, let's give a round of applause to the video. It really makes you feel like you're visiting the expo in person. It also highlights the richness and diversity of Taiwan and Malaysia's industries, creating a very friendly platform for trade and commerce. And now we would like to invite our distinguished guests to come to the stage for a group photo. First, we'd like to welcome Mr. James Huang, Chairman of Taiwan External Trade Development Council. Welcome to the stage. And Ms. Cynthia Zhang, Director General of Bureau of Foreign Trade of Ministry of Economic Affairs. Ms. Sharon He, President of Malaysian Friendship and Trade Center Taipei. Ms. Leonor Ling, President and CEO of TITRA. Mr. Simon Wang, Executive Vice President of TITRA. Ms. Elena Lee, Executive Vice President of TITRA. And Ms. Sauda Matisa, Director of Trade of Malaysian Friendship and Trade Center Taipei. Now, our dear guests on the stage, please put your right hands on your heart. It means receiving the greetings and blessings. Yes, just like this. Please look at the middle. Please look at the front camera. If you need more time, three, two, one. You need more time? Three, two, one. One. Okay, please to a little bit to your left and to your right. All right, we would like to take a second round photo for you. Please, our staff members, with the Taiwan Expo in Malaysia 2020 first online, we have created a brand new experience for buyers across the world, expanding into markets both domestic and abroad and we lead the global marketplace with Taiwan's unique new presence. Now our guests on the stage, please look at the front again. Three, two, one. And please look a little bit to your left, for the camera on your left side, and to your right. We need more time for the picture. All right, thank you very much. Thank you, Chairman Juan and all our guests on the stage. Please return to your seats. Well, live streaming made it very possible for our friends from Malaysia and all around the world to join us today for the opening ceremony for the Taiwan Expo in Malaysia 2021 online. Thank you very much for joining us today and we wish you all a wonderful day.